I'm Kalila Reynolds. I'm 38 years old and I have three beautiful children. I have Ryan, who's one, Nerisi, baby genius, who's three, and Alexa's 18. All right, how do I balance career and spending time with children? I get that question so often. It's a very difficult question. If you ask my husband, he probably says I don't balance it very well, but I do try. So what I try to do is to utilize time blocks. So I have a block of time where I go somewhere and just work, 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 work until that time is done. And then when I come home, I try to make the focus exclusively on the kids and the family. I don't always succeed because things happen in the evening when I'm supposed to, supposed to be family time, but that is how I try at least to maintain some balance. One of the biggest things I've learned about being a mother, about being a parent, is that your child is not you. So you may have all these expectations of your child. You may expect your child to react to situations the way you would react. But that child has a completely different personality than you. They grew up differently than you did. Their experiences are different. And you just have to realize that the child is his or her own person. And that was a tough lesson to learn because I, with my oldest, something would happen and I would say, but if, if it was me, this is what I would do, but then she's not me, you know? And that was, that took me some time to really understand that she's a separate individual. She has her own mind, her own thoughts, and she's very different from me. My biggest challenge with being a mom has got to be just finding the time to do everything. Because I'm a new entrepreneur, which is a baby in itself. And then I have these two toddlers and then this older one who is going away. So just finding the time to, to do everything and to be there for everything. And then dealing with mom guilt. Mom guilt is a real serious thing. Like whenever I take time to do anything for myself, which is, you know, I try to go to the gym in the mornings or if I go to do my nails, I feel so guilty about that because that's time that I could be spending with the kids. And especially considering that I already spend so much time at work, it feels like I, you know, I, I shouldn't be having that extra time for myself. Like that just feels selfish, you know? What would I have done differently with my eldest Alexa that is that is a very 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 tough question to answer um, I think being more involved as a parent there have been times when I've taken a more hands-off approach and I try to to let her find her own way and I think there's benefits to doing that as well but there have been times when maybe I needed to crack the whip a little bit more or a lot more and I think finding the discipline within myself because I was too tired to do it. You know those times when you say, oh, I'll just let them watch TV because I'm tired, <laughs> you know? Um, maybe I should have tried to be a little bit more disciplined in myself and, and with the children. So perhaps that's something I learn for the next time around now that these two are so small. So I do have a small tribe. It takes a village to raise a child. There are quite a few people who are involved in my life and my family's lives. So we have my mom, of course. She is you know, the constant, she's always there. She's all the way in Belize though, so it makes it a little bit different, but we do speak every Sunday for like two to three hours. We carve out that time and we do a, a FaceTime call, a WhatsApp call, and she gets to see the kids. We you know, talk about everything under the sun. And if I need any advice, she's always there for that. We have my mother-in-law who is literally at my house every day. So, so she's great. And then I have some friends as well who are part of my circle. One of my friends I probably rely on more than others because she literally has kids the same age as my kids. And so she can relate to a lot of stuff that I'm going through and we often bounce things off each other. Like, is your kid doing this? Because mine is doing that. Like, you know, what is that like for you? And we really you know, support each other in that way. The biggest piece of advice to anyone watching this right now, any mother especially, is to take that time for yourself. And I mentioned before that, you know, I do feel the mom guilt for taking that time, but it's just so important for your own sanity. Even if it's just 15 minutes in the morning, that you carve out for yourself, for your mental health. You can do meditation, you can just lock up in the bathroom for 15 minutes and you know, pretend that you, you really need to be in the bathroom. <laughs> but, but just do something for yourself 
every day. Just give yourself some time to center yourself, to, to be yourself, to let out a cry if you need to. Just That's just your time. That's not kids time, that's not hobby time, that's not work time, it's not anything time except solely for you.